Hey everyone, Daniel from bloghoarder.com here. And in today's FlowLab tutorial, we're going to go over a score. So we're going to display a score here. Let's get into it. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is create something to collect, to create a score. So in this, we're going to be collecting um, item one. <laughs> and we'll decide what that item is in a second. apples we're collecting apples all right so really quickly um, we'll go into the apple for a collision with the player and component destroyer this way it just destroys itself when it hits the player okay so the next thing we're gonna do is create a data sprite off screen label it data sprite doesn't matter what it looks like but inside the behaviors this is where we're gonna keep the score so inside this data sprite we are going to ha start off with a mailbox and we're gonna call this mailbox score and then this mailbox will go into a number which will display your score so this is going to set it we also want an always trigger to always get it. And then what we want is a label. And this label will display your score. So delete the word label and put the out to the value. And now what we want is a another label to say score. So what we want is another label right here. Type in score. And then what we're going to do, let me just put a quick zero in here for a second. And now what we're going to do is just arrange these really quickly so I can see them. So there's the score. There's the number for the score. All right, so now we got to trigger it. So we got to go into our character into his behaviors so here was all the motion the movement from the first tutorial here's your health and damage now we're going to scroll down to a nice open area and make a little score so whenever there's a collision with the apple which we called item do we call it item or item one just called it item i guess that will go into a number and a message so number and a message we need number message and that message is going to be called score the name of the mailbox and that is in the data sprite so choose object to send data to data sprite labeled score and now we just want it like this into the plus into the send there you go so now whenever you have a collision with this item which will destroy itself when you collide with it and disappear you will send one number to the score I hope <laughs> let's test it out yeah it worked Okay, so let's put a few apples to test it out to make sure it worked. Uh, here we go. Make it easy to catch. Three, four, five. Okay, so yeah, that worked. So that's how you put a score into your game. Keep it in the data sprite. Oh, and here's one thing we do not want to forget. With our data sprite, the behavior reset keep between levels make sure that's set on sorry about that but that keep between levels will make sure that data sprite always stays there and your score remains the same and keeps traveling through the levels with you so let's go back into the data sprite really quickly remember keep between levels and then this is what you're gonna have you're gonna have a mailbox titled score or whatever it is, it's just got to be the same as the message you're sending. Always into the get, set, 
you got a label and another label. This says score, this says zero. In your character, you had a collision with the collectible item going into the positive sign of the number, leave it at zero, so it's just sending one, and then it's just um, sending into the message which you labeled score into your data sprite. And that is how you <clears throat> put a score into your game. Hope you enjoy the tutorial, and I will see you on the next one.